the Rams, blah, blah, blah. You know, that goes uh, in the direction of his former teammate. I mean, look, Lamar Jackson was the story last night, but I don't know. Anyone surprised by this? <laughs> like, I thought I thought that was a given. Yeah, it's like it comes game. with the game. Like, I, I knew for sure Marcus Peters was going to have things to say, and if he had things to say to... And share with me some of the <laughs> words that you know that he's probably saying out there. Uh, this is the bigger story, though, for the Rams, okay? So last year, Sean McVay seemed like the G. Because to me, if you're talking about being there, it's absolute. Whatever the mm -hmm. highest number you can well, have. He's going to be there. So you're like yeah, a he's going to be ten. there. I, am I worried about? The concern is you give him, at least at the time he got it, the biggest deal for running back in league history, and you use him accordingly. And now you look at the playoffs last year. How about this team roster? Or the, the future of the roster? Because I feel like they, they've they given away every free. They'll go out and sign a bunch of free agents like they did because their yeah. their cap is going to be. I, I, th I think what you did was, and you mentioned Sean McVay, I think what you did was figure that he was smart enough. In the ball, and they just yes. haven't been able to run the yeah. ball this year. I, and mean, I, I, I think that's been underrated, Coach, that they, they need to run the football. Well, yeah, yeah, no, I feel like that has been the story of this <laughs> yeah. team all year. I mean, every time we talk about the Rams is why hasn't the running game developed? Why have we not seen more Todd Gurley? I feel like we're seeing a little bit more week by week, but at some point you got to figure they're going to just go all in. I'm just not, I'm not sure uh, if it's going to be the season though. All right, guys, coming up with Thanksgiving right around the corner, we are asking this.